Hello, this is History Shorts with the Artifactual Scholar. Today, I'll be talking about the Hartford Convention of 1814. In June of 1812, simmering political and trade disputes between the United States and Great Britain led President James Madison to ask Congress for a declaration of war. Though Congress did declare war, the declaration revealed deep sectional and political divisions in the Young Republic, with Democratic Republicans from the South and West supporting the war and Federalists from New England opposed to it. Over the next two and a half years, the tide of war ebbed and flowed for the U.S. Surprising victories, such as the Battle of Lake Erie in 1813, were followed by stunning defeats, such as the burning of Washington, D.C. in 1814. Throughout the struggle, the international commerce of the U.S. declined as the Madison administration's trade embargo cut off foreign markets. Most affected by these economic woes were the merchants of New England, whose livelihoods depended in large part on maritime trade. Some of the most radical Federalists, such as Timothy Pickering from Salem, Massachusetts, proposed that New England secede from the Union and form a separate peace with Britain. On December 15, 1814, with the storm of economic turmoil and disunion swirling around them, 26 Federalist delegates from, New England, from the New England states met in secret in Hartford, Connecticut, to discuss the problems caused by the war. Moderate Federalists, led by Harrison Gray Otis of Boston, put aside the talk of secession to focus on discussing the damaging political and economic policies of the Democratic-Republican administrations of Madison and his predecessor, Thomas Jefferson. After three weeks of debate and discussion, the convention put forth several proposals, including constitutional amendments to prevent the successive election of presidents from the same state and the setting of a 60-day limit to any future trade embargoes. In putting forth these proposals, the convention sought to address the grievances of the New England states. In early January 1815, the convention's proposals were sent to Washington, D.C. Before they arrived, news of Andrew Jackson's victory at the Battle of New Orleans had reached the capital. Shortly thereafter, news arrived that a treaty ending the war had been signed in Ghent, Belgium, in December 1814. As a result of the sudden end of the war, the convention's proposals appeared unnecessary, and the discussion of secession had a taint of treason. The Federalist Party, which had authored the proposals, could not escape the shadow of the Hartford Convention, and by 1816 had ceased to be a significant national political force. Most significantly, the convention awakened the specter of states' rights, an idea that would grow in significance in the 1830s, 40s, and 50s, and eventually lead the nation to civil war. This has been History Shorts. Thanks for watching.